Hello, hello, and welcome back. Let's go over this region's questions about systems of inequalities. So this question is asking us which of these four points here is going to be a solution. In order to be a solution, it has to meet the criteria. In this case, it has to be equal to or greater than this equation. And it also has to be less than, but not equal to, this equation. We can tell because it has the dashed line. We can tell because it has the solid line. So let's go through and check out which of these points is going to satisfy both of the inequalities. All right, the first one is negative 4 on the x-axis. 1, 2, 3, 4. And negative 1 on the y-axis. Well, that's our first answer, and it looks like it fits. It is less than this equation, and it's more than this equation. It meets both. Let's go through and check out all the rest, though. So the next one is 2, 3. So let's go to 2 on the x-axis. Let's go up to 3 on the y-axis. 1, 2, 3. Okay, so that one meets this. It is equal to 2x minus 1, but it does not satisfy both equations. It is not below this line. Okay, the next one, 1, 1. So 1 on the x-axis, 1 on the y-axis. Now this is tempting. This looks like it satisfies both, but we can see here that it actually doesn't work because we can't be equal to this line. Our answer has to be anything below this line, but it can't be equal to this line. So that's tricky. That one doesn't work. If that one was first, you might be tempted to take it. Okay, let's go to the third, which is negative 2, 2. So we go negative 2 on the x-axis and up 2 on the y-axis. All right, so this is the same thing. It is yes meeting one of them it's greater than this line here but we already know that we have to be less than this line here we can't be equal to it this is the second choice that gives us a, a point that is equal to one of the lines so the answer here is one two of them are tricky and one of them just doesn't work see you next time